Hello friends, and welcome to another weekly update for Tour Simulator. This week is Valentine's, so we're doing the Valentine's celebration. As you can see, I have a minimal decoration in my room. Change the background a little bit. There has been some changes this week that you probably need to be made aware of. I'll go over all of them because I went over some last time, but there were different things that were added. Uh, first of note, my videos are taking upwards of 10 hours to 11 hours to finish now. Uh, so these bonuses are starting to really stack up. Um, it's a good thing because I don't have to mind and tend the game so often. However, it does make it really hard to find the trending categories for the day unless you're really lucky. But the returns that you get from them are pretty decent, to be honest. Although it does take a long time to make a video and they're 11 hours long. So, what did we get this week? We did finish subs on the, uh, the event celebration category. We finished all three of these. And now we are working on finishing these up. So these will all be at 10. And then we're probably going to go up here and finish these two. And then we're really going to dig into these subs so we can get these up a little bit further. So all we got is the Puggle Prizes and the core message to increase the subs. So we'll probably do this one first because that's an overall one. And then we'll work on the specific categories. So it seems to be working out pretty well for us. But the rest of them are all done, at least until the next update when they add some more things in, which will be kind of cool. So we made it to uh, level 35. I don't know if we were 35 last update. But we did make it to level 35. And the level 35s were this big old bear, some flowers, a little money stack, lighting, this little gramophone, and carpet. Did not get the carpet because it doesn't add anything. I did get the lighting because I didn't notice it didn't add anything. And it already clicked it. But one thing you will notice is now at level 35, our stuff is back down to taking one day instead of 11 days to get here. So that makes it a little more feasible to actually order things. Whereas before we were having problems because, and the reason I took this out to a once a week update is I wasn't, I'd order something and I, if I didn't play a significant amount of puggle games, the items weren't even coming in before the next video. So I had to constantly be playing Puggle to actually make it through some of these items. But with them being one day each again, I don't know if this is for the uh, celebration or if this is going to be how they're going to stay, but I certainly do hope it's how they stay. I appreciate the game taking a while to level up and having some kind of challenge to it, but waiting 11 days for something to come in is a little excessive. And with the significant amount it actually takes to order something, well... You know, it does get up there a little bit. But hey, I'm glad they did this, even if it's temporary. We made a lot of progress just from that. As you can see, I've been trying to get all these up to 30, and it looks like we have this one, this one, and this one to go. And then they'll all be 30, and we'll get one of our last trending category achievements. Videos, you can see, we're getting significantly more views due to the longer video, which actually bumped out most all of the celebration videos which were at our top. 13.4 million, that is pretty significant. And where do we come in, in the rankings this week? We are in 11th place. They did restructure these, so these are now they bumped some of them up. We were almost up to number 10 but they raised it up to 5.03 million, so we got a little bit further to go. Fortunately, we didn't lose any spots. Now, if you want to know how to get your name rainbow-colored, I have a video in this playlist 
for this series that will tell you how to do that if you qualify. It's a very specific process. It was the last video I made before this one, which says real info, real new info on how to get it verified. So if you're curious about that, definitely go ahead and watch that video. And there is a process and you do have to qualify. It, it isn't hard to do, but it is something, there are some steps you have to do. Okay, and like always, before we forget, let's send gifts to our friends. And I do this every day, whether I play or not. So if you want to be in my friend list, definitely add your Tuber ID in the comments so I can add you and my subscribers can add you and then we can get your presents every day because they do add up. I mean, I've gotten several million views off of that. And one thing I've noticed is since they did decrease the amount of time required and the number of times I have to play Puggle to get through it, um, I do have a lot more views in reserve that I can work with. So what do we have for quests? We still got this 100 billion quest, 100 billion view quest. We're going to have it for a while because we just topped four. So we've got 95.9 billion views to go. So it's going to be a while. Uh, the new one that I've been seeing is this watch three ads. And uh, I just started showing up. I think it was yesterday that I saw it more predominantly. But I've gotten it three times today. I just don't have any way to watch any more ads. So I've watched all the ads I can watch for now. I have to wait for the ones that I've watched to expire, and then I'll be able to watch some more. Uh, published five videos. Uh, I got the three out this morning. I got to wait for two more to go. So it'll be another 10 hours before that, or six hours before, six, six, seven hours before that finishes. And that's the other downside to these publish quests is that I can't publish a number of videos in a day. Um, you figure I can publish like six, seven videos a day now, and that's it. And I'm kind of done. There's no more I can do. I've already filled all my slots. So those do take a little while, and getting this takes a little while. But, oh, one other thing they added. These little check marks. So now, let's see if I can find one. You can go through, I think I have all these. You can go through and see what you have in your inventory, what you've ordered already. So that way you don't order it twice. Or if you're looking to go through and fill in things you're missing, you can look for things without check marks. I know some of the uh, probably sports ones don't have it all. But you can see I've ordered all these, I've ordered all these. But I have not ordered this. I missed it when it came up. So I know I have to order one. So that's pretty cool. I, I do appreciate that. That is very handy and I'm very appreciated. Uh, the fact that I can now see what I have in my inventory or what I have ordered helps out a ton because now I know when this one came up. Uh, in the lower levels, you were gaining more levels than were you were able to order things. So you'd order half of them and then, then you would you'd be the next level, so you'd order the next ones because that's the most price conscious thing to order and versus how much experience you get out of it. And now you can go back through and review those things and make sure that you have them because some of these might be useful for decoration. And when I'm, I see I missed a bunch of them in sports, but when I want to go through and decorate, having to reorder all this junk gets really, really annoying. But if I already know I have it, it's easier for, well, they raised the level up to 60, I guess. As it was 50 last time I looked. And 40 before that. So they do keep increasing the levels and giving you more things to decorate with. But if I want to put these fences or these ropes in, I guess it's like a boxing ring, which would go well with the thing I just got, which is this. I would not know how many I would I would not know that I didn't have it and now in order to decorate my room I've got to order four of them and if I know I already had one then I know I can go look at it 
can see how many I have, and I can pull it out of my inventory, and then I only have to order three of them. So instead of taking 14 hours and 26 minutes, and then having to stack another 1426 on top of it, I can look, see how many I had. If I had one, then it's only going to take 14 hours and 26 minutes to get the other three. And I don't have to wait another almost day to get the, another one. But it does look like they scaled everything back so it runs about a day, which is probably going to help those of us like me who are in their 30s to get closer to 40 faster. Because I have noticed that level 35 has gone considerably quicker than the lower levels. Of course, I have been going back through and cleaning up. So the fact that I'm seeing these things not being there, now I know to get them. And some of them don't reward a tremendous amount of experience. So I probably could have gotten further if I focus on what I actually need to get to get experience. But I want to make sure I have a sufficient inventory. So knowing what I have and what I need is, ha is handy, but not exactly beneficial in every case to making a level. Because uh, buying a level 3 item isn't going to help you out a whole heck of a lot when you're level 35. And right now I have on order some very low level things, mostly from the uh, the home category, windows and a cabinet, but um, I will finish those up shortly and then I can move on to something else. But like I said, trying to play catch up right now, so not gaining a bunch of experience doing it. Because as you, as you get experience and you buy things, the trending category goes up and you also gain experience in your level. And that's how you make the next level, as you probably know if you're watching this. So, we have not made a whole heck of a lot of progress in our level compared to what we could if we bought better items. And as you can see, having that maxed out and that maxed out, it's really helping. Now, if this was a higher level, that would help out even more. But there's one problem with the Valentine's event. Usually I was able to get up into the 20s pretty easy because the items were in the 20s and higher. And this one, the little bear taps out at 18 and only gives three hearts. So I don't know how that compares to other ones, but if we want to max out Valentine's Day and we do have eight days left to go, we're probably going to have to concentrate on getting a bunch of these in really quick so it just doesn't seem to be going as high because I've ordered everything and usually when we've ordered everything we've been pretty close to getting it to level 20 and now we're only at 11 so we're not getting the bonuses we usually do and I am still curious to find out what's gonna happen when that first holiday rolls around again to see if we get to keep what we earned from the previous year uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. I wonder if it records it or what, but hopefully it'll bring it back and then we can build on what we had last year. And for those of us who did participate in all the holidays, we have the opportunity to go from 20 to 30 instead of having to go from zero all the way up again. Uh, it'd be nice, but I, I don't really expect them to track that information on everybody all the time. If they do, good for them. If not, not a big deal. Anyway, since this is our weekly update, and I have pretty much updated you on everything I'm aware of, that is about it for this week. Um, once again, if you are not, and I could watch an ad right now, but it'd screw up the video. So, I'll catch it later. If you are looking for more people to be in your friend list, drop your ID in the box below so we can add you. And if you have any... Uh, comments or suggestions make sure you uh, drop those down there as well also I am having a contest right now giving away a whole bunch of steam keys the contest link description is contest contest link is in the description of this video as well make sure you go check that out and follow the instructions basically you just have to make a comment any comment whatsoever in the video and it's not a good place to ask me a question because your comments are what's going to decide who wins, so I'm not commenting back. So don't don't think that I'm ignoring you. Just be aware that uh, I'm not going to skew the results by commenting myself. 
in those videos. So questions probably won't be answered, but you can comment anything you want and uh, see if you can win a Steam key. I have a lot, a whole lot of games, probably 50 something. I haven't counted them. So that's just a rough estimate, but uh, I bought a bunch of bundles for games where I needed two games out of a 10 game bundle. And I really don't know what to do with the other eight keys. So giving them to you guys seemed like a great idea. And I just bought the uh, Star Wars Humble Bundle 3. And uh, well, I have a lot of those games already, but I bought a lot of them so that I could give the keys away to you guys. So that's also going to contribute to this giveaway. Uh, those of you also know that I do, I buy those silly 10 key packs. There's some of those in there too. So there's some games that are, eh, I wouldn't say bad, just not triple A. And uh, they're indie. There's some good ones in there as well. Uh, I got a couple other really nice ones, but Anyway, that video is not, this video is not that video. Go check out that video, enter the contest. Um, I'd really like to give them all away this time, and uh, it would be nice to fill up the roster with entries. And hey, at this point, you're guaranteed to get something. So anyway, I'm going to end this now. Uh, I will talk to you guys later, but thank you very, very much for watching these videos, and I appreciate all your support, and I will talk to you later. Thank you. See ya.